him and sabotage his own flight, so he had to stay in Myrtle Beach for a little while longer today, I think. So uh, <laughs> we'll try to get along without him. Uh, first, is there any agenda changes or additions? Yes, sir, please. Uh, please add a fireworks permit request. <clears throat> Okay, next uh, is uh, we'll approve the minutes. I'll make a motion. Them. I'll make a motion we approve them. Second. And move and second it. I, uh, I have a question. Certainly. I had um, a motion, but I brought up the, the attention about having a motion of using fund money for the, the LHP was going to pay for the parking lot. I'm just wondering if it could be reflected in the minutes somewhere. It was, it was a discussion, and we usually don't put a lot of discussion. I don't know if we could put it in at, uh, and at the select board concerns. I don't mind it going in there. Just someplace in the minutes. That's okay with the rest of the board. Fine, and I, as I remember, I think that before you brought it up, was it for the board concerns? Maybe not. No, I brought Maybe you brought it up when uh, we were discussing their yeah. application, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Fine, so it's, uh, is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor with the motion to add Judy's discussion under select board concerns for this meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion is passed. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Next, community concerns. Do we have any community concerns this evening? Business approved capstone community action for optical park use. Your application and insurance certificate are included in your packet. These are two events, um, a really good positive thing for the community. Positive activities. Making a motion to approve it. Moved by Brian and seconded by Judy. Yeah. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Can we approve that one? That one's a like fun. Yeah. I like this. Sorry? <laughs> uh, it's only going on from 11 to 5, so. Yeah. Still plenty of time, though, right, Bill? <laughs> Those fiddlers are pretty. I think it's a little different than it used to be when it was under Crossberry, but I may be wrong. Uh, the only thing that I noticed was they didn't uh, didn't have a certificate of insurance. Yeah, so that's a contingent upon that. Yep. Make a motion. We we accept. We pass or approve the Northeast Fiddlers Association use of the Oxbow Park contingent on them supplying insurance policy. 
Second. I think that moved by Judy and seconded by Brian. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye myself. So far. Okay. Approve tax anticipation notes. Um, so I sent out four bids uh, for the tax annual tax anticipation note. We do this annually. Um, I only received two back, um, the Union Bank and Community National Bank. Um, I recommend uh, approving the one from the Union Bank as um, it will generate income and community national banks um, would be at a loss to the town. From no brainer. So I make a motion we approve the Union Bank. Second. Moved by Brian, seconded by Judy to approve the uh, tax anticipation note. Uh, the Union Bank. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. By myself. Opposed. Sir, get the documents from the Union Bank. You'll have them here in the office and I'll let you know. We all should be signing. They um, actually, they have um, I'm thinking they'll probably be electronic. They've been, they may give me the option, but the school ones were just all electronics that we signed. I don't know with COVID, so you may be coming, you may be. That come to our email? Can mm -hmm. we do it? It's, it's um, oh, like a DocuSign okay. and you click on your name as you read through them. Oh, okay. If it's that way, um, we will get that document, a secure document directly from the Union Bank, but I'll also email you the heads up to be on the list for it. Next, find the annual financial management questionnaire. This is me again. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the annual uh, questionnaire that is required that I complete for the uh, state of Vermont and that our auditors are going to look for. Um, review our financial policies, procedures. Uh, there's no changes in the past year, really. Um, it's just to make you aware. You don't have to do a motion, do we? Um, you just have to acknowledge that I completed it and that I reviewed um, all of the questions that the state wants us to um, review in our procedures. I acknowledge reading it. Yeah, um, so then you, I guess you would make a motion or yeah, I think first. To appoint somebody from the select board to sign it. So you would like it signed tonight? Yeah, by one. Just you need to appoint one one member to sign on behalf of the board. Make a motion to carry. No one signs the financial management questionnaire. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, myself sign uh, financial management questionnaire. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Move. Can we really vote on that? Looks like he had a hair. Can we get in tonight, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Here's the last speed record here. Here had a lot of practice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, application for a right of way permit, Sterling Valley Road uh, by Comcast Communication. Kevin. Uh, the representative of Comcast about a month ago, maybe now, um, and talked to you about it. Actually, with us first before just going ahead. 
Uh, they're going to put, be putting internet service up into the place. So across stagecoach in the air, and then up down the pole that's right here on the end of the turn. Go across our road and then go just outside of our roadway, up the right away, down to the bridge. Have to undo it across the bridge and then up through past that field. Uh, the next pole coming in from the other way is just below the uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're going to catch that pole there, and then they're going to. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Motion. 
What'd you say? <laughs> I said if, it, if your term is up, then they'll automatically extend it for three years. That's all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we can acquire the list. Their information. Yeah, one, two, or three years. Again. Um, number eight, that is a fireworks permit request by John Decker, 1700 Katie's Falls Road, Marshall. Application uh, on our website, there's some uh, deadlines to meet. Uh, don't always hit those deadlines. We're amenable. Uh, the application is for the fourth by itself. Uh, same time as the town fireworks are going off, so not likely to cause any more disruption. The valley there in Case Falls, I, I've been talking over trying to figure out who has domestic animals anywhere near there, but it looks like town fireworks go on off. Have any problems at all with it? No, I can't think of any animals down there either. So the question the police chief and fire chief haven't planned is because you're trying to get it in. Came in last night today. Yeah, I mean, he had to do this to get it. So my, my motion will be to approve it. Opinions on the fire department and the police department. Yep. You approved it? Okay. Oh, second, sorry. Mm -hmm. I moved by uh, Brian, seconded by duty to approve the fireworks application. John Decker for July 4th for the rain day to July 5th. Further discussion? Do you live um, like over the uh, Memorial? Katie's Falls are over. Oh. Right after. Right okay. All right. Are the are the neighbors all, all aware? He told me that they invite a couple members. Oh, okay. I was teasing when he said that. Like, <laughs> it's a community thing, and he said he invites all the neighbors. So the neighbors they're to all like come watch it. That's what he puts it out. He puts. It. All right. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Are none all in favor? Aye. 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 Pass. Um, next, old business. What's the schedule for appointing a new select board member? How many applications have we So have um, they come to us on our email? I've seen one. They all come? Yeah, oh, okay. The first, first two or three or four were early on. All right. We send them one email. That would be really helpful. Yeah. I think it might be a good idea. And uh, would it be the pleasure of the board to do all five? Good for me. 
As I talked to Bob earlier, that would be his preference as well. Um, if we want to do it. Uh, We'll discuss a little later. Um, Wednesday, so Friday. Friday the 25th. Yeah, I'm not Minutes per interview. Yep. So five. We have to uh, because it's a meeting. Oh, that's right. We have to warn. We have to warn. Yeah. So it can be the following week. The following week would be better. <coughs> Running your July sixth. We do it the 29th. Yeah. Yeah. So we got today is the 21st. Okay. So whenever you. So you're good for any time. Any time after the all right, well, let's warn it for the 29th and talk to Bob tomorrow and see what's a good at any time of the day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Need to know any other dates? I mean, the interview on the 29th, that we are appointing somebody, we won't appoint them that night, probably. But I wouldn't, it's up to you folks. You know, you're, I would like to think you're going to deliver the session, right? Follow up, session, and discuss, right? And then we can probably want to discuss. Possible, I mean, I suppose it's possible to appoint somebody that if we do it on the 29th. Six. Okay. The six. So we're gonna meet here at five and then get down there. So do we have do we have a rain date set up for the six? We're gonna be under the roof in a way. Brian's all hard. What the range like it did earlier this evening. I don't know if that makes much difference the way we're coming. So we have to warn for another meeting if it's on for weather. Mm -hmm. Then we can roll and And for the sixth, yes. we'll do it even if people aren't inoculated. Well, like as long whatever works for Bob time wise on the 29th, right. right. all three of these are good. Yes, and we'll notify and then we can notify the app. Right. Yeah. If we get that time tomorrow. Right. Right. Tomorrow. That'd be up probably for you to let's say Bob picks ten in the morning to schedule each which person can come in stagger. Right. About five, hopefully. Nobody 
so we're all in agreement with that. Approve the warrants. Make a motion, we approve them. And moved by Brian, seconded by Judy to approve the warrants. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Warrants are approved. EA report. Eric. You want to make it short? Highway Department's up on Garfield Road, replacing Culver. Back from a family member that was up that way and has to travel through there about traffic control. So, uh, I've seen some of the finished product already, if you haven't had a chance to look at it, they've done a great job. Uh, day was day one, and Dan. With his bulk in his head. Yeah, well, well, yeah. And we're, uh, we're on for Jim's family gathering at noon on Thursday. And I understand it's short and sweet. I hope that I can make it there somehow. Short and sweet. That was short and sweet. Yeah, it was. Perfect. Uh, slight board concerns. Brian. Just wanted to know how are we set on the gravel pit? Any news on what's going on? <laughs> that was my question as well. We, we haven't had anything since the last communication, which was a request for specified analysis. For that, um, Tyler has that, is reviewing it. Awesome, but I'm not sure if process is in process of review. Do you have any idea if we'll be able to access it this one? I mean, the good, the kind of good news to say is it's the 11 page document that they sent out for questions. Uh, all the responses we sent back, this response wasn't related to passages in the 11. How to interpret that? I don't know if that means with the answers we gave. No analysis has to do with. Commission took it literal that the 288 probably chunk of land. Mine was here and the recreation is here. Claim that that's not wasn't the case nor the intent back when they got the first file. So that's where the stove analysis is coming in. Oh, okay. Um, I wanted to thank the uh, rescue and the police, and Denny's not here, but the fire department for participating in the graduation parade. Was it Thursday? Only Thursday? It was really sweet. It was really fun to be. I, I was at, uh, at the corner watching, and it was fun to see everybody participating, and kids seemed to be enjoying it very much. 
especially wanted to give a shout out to the police or the fire department, but I will when Denny's here. Other business. I kicked myself for not bringing up this community because <laughs> I wanted to mention it as um, so I don't know if the school was necessarily going to redo the parade again this year. And so many people have reached out to me in my past after last year that didn't even have family um, up there, just community members, how wonderful it was, and asked me if the town clerk took out the word to school. I don't even think knowing that I necessarily was the mother of a senior this year. Um, but that experience with my child riding in the parade and seeing that community, <laughs> um, seeing that community support was up there with like child. I didn't <laughs> realize how moving it was. It was incredible. Yeah, I can't say. Everybody on a personal level. And it's not for on a community so to see everybody come out. It really was a community celebration because most, many of us don't have kids graduating or maybe not even know kids that are graduating, but it's fun to be able to be a part of that by, uh, by being there clapping for the yeah. parade. Yeah. My kid didn't want it. He just wanted to walk across the stage. He was like, yeah, you guys are into it, let's do it. But we just want to just give us this fun. Afterwards, he was like, it was the best part of the evening. He skipped the rest. We had a lot of a lot of people were really commenting on it that I want to do it <coughs> every year. Maybe does. Shelly and I are getting but we go to pretty much all the games and yeah, everybody could be thankful enough to all the departments that participated and everybody, I mean there was, people had flags on their lawns and yeah, it was great. And also another thing, as the police department, the fire department, uh, when the boys won the championship the other day, that was pretty neat. <laughs> I probably woke up a few people. <laughs> oh, it was a little after eleven that night. <laughs> Going through with sirens and stuff, and uh, that was great as well. There was a lot of participation there as well. Ball game was a real good one. The boys did a heck of a job. Were you driving the police car? Oh, for the ball game. Oh, there. oh okay. Because somebody had decorated the police car yeah, too. Yeah, last year too. Yeah. They have to do it again this year. Oh, Jerry. Everybody turns out like say Bill and Benny and Jason. The whole the whole crew was really really appreciated by the whole town. Uh, slight board concerns. Brian stole my thunder. I was going to ask about the gravel pit myself, so uh, I guess we can go on to other business. Judy stole my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you jumped right in. Yeah. So. Uh, my other, uh, the other thing I was going to mention is I don't have any update about um, the school on Arthur. I'm waiting for direction. Mm -hmm. I've reached out again. Um, and the Secretary of State's office to see if there's any updates. I know that um, Board of Education met last week, but I haven't found any minutes. Everybody seems to be on their feet. My understanding is that the uh, AOE, Agency of Education, is saying one thing, and the legislature or the, the uh, School Board Association is saying something else. So there's two different. Uh, Decisions out there, but no one's made a final one. Nobody's making a decision. And do do people? Or I don't think people in Morrisville are just sitting here, one way or the other, mm -hmm. content with it. I've seen on front porch forum it was a lot more discussion. I didn't. Did you hear anything about those discussions? Mm -hmm. no. I just saw them. On the, there was another one tonight. You guys were probably mm -hmm. here. Um, on front porch, just that they're having another meeting. 
There's really nothing to discuss. Either say yes or no. Any other business? I make a motion to enter executive session to discuss appointment or employment or evaluation of public officer or employee to the body or could, could place the town in a substantial disadvantage pursuant to section one VSA section 313 of the state statutes. And do I include people's yes. names? Yes. We'll include Eric Dodge, Kevin Burroughs, Tina Sweet, and Bill Mates. Second. Move and second it to uh, adjourn to executive session. Is there any further discussion? All favor? Aye. 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 We are now in executive session.